Good morning, everyone. This is a feature just for Agency Pro subscribers, but it is really cool. And what we're allowing you to do now is create a totally standalone AI writer SaaS. So this utility is just for AI writing. We've scrubbed all the integrations with our social media publishing features and everything else. And I'll walk you through that just to kind of show you how um, we've created a standalone product. I'm also gonna talk about some of the ways you could use this as a lead gen effort, something you can upsell later, um, maybe even as a giveaway for some of your high dollar clients. Um, also, we're gonna be talking about just some new um, developments in AI writing and why I'm just so excited for the future of this. Um, and also, I'm gonna walk you through setting up a pricing plan that incorporates only the AI writer functionality. So just to start, ways that I think that you can use this product. I think that this would be perfect for somebody who has big dollar coaching clients um, as a way of getting an account set up that you can upsell and cross sell later to unlock features. So this might be something where, I mean, let's say you're doing coaching for entrepreneurs and you're getting 500 bucks a month, you know, it's gonna cost you $10 a month to give this to them, which is not free, it's not cheap, but at the same time, it's gonna give you um, your brand, you know, you're gonna have your branding in front of these people. It's very impressive that you've created your own um, AI writer to help them out. So you're gonna have a lot of brand uh, loyalty and a lot of stickiness on that $500 a month coaching subscription you have with them. But the most exciting part of that is um, you can start an email trickle that goes out saying, hey, by the way, you can unlock these other features if you wanna upgrade to our paid plan. <clears throat> and just start selling them, you know, like you can jump up to social media as well and it's integrated well. You can also add campaigns. Um, so that's one strategy. Another strategy is just sell this, you know, you can maybe go as low as $19, um, maybe $29 um, and have totally separate ads running, but do this to your avatar. So think in terms of your particular avatar. Like if you are into realtors and you've got a realty product, that has plans, you know, that start, starts at $99 and runs up to maybe $999 for more full service where you're helping them run campaigns that are generating leads like viral sweepstakes. Well, imagine having something that you could go out to realtors and say, hey, are you tired of having to write your listings on your own or tired of having to, you know, create emails on your own and social media posts and all these things? You know, if you're a DIY real estate person, then I've got a great tool for you. It's only $19 and it's going to help you save a ton of time and generate all of your content in, you know, a fraction of the time. And for 19 bucks, you can't go wrong. And since it's super targeted to their specific use case and needs, I think you can generate some sales here. And if somebody pays 19 bucks and they can see how it goes, well, you're kind of using the same strategy that realtors use. What realtors do is like they'll say, "Hey, are you a um, are you trying to sell your home on your own?" Uh, it's called for sale by owner, and what they do is they go after for sale by owner people and they give them tons of resources for absolutely free. And um, the reason they do that is they know that something like eighty five percent of for sale by owner people end up hiring a realtor because nobody wants to do this stuff themselves. Nobody has the time to do it themselves, even if they have the resources, they just don't have the time and the inclination. So you're using a very similar strategy here where you're selling them a very inexpensive utility that promises a lot, but they're going to probably find after a few weeks that they just don't even have time to use this. And your job is to get a bunch of emails out to them to upsell your other plans. Say, you know, you're having, you know, having trouble finding the time to actually use this. We can use this tool on your behalf, write all of your posts, you know, even create a strategy for you, click here and go check out our other plans and give them some kind of a discount. So they feel like, you know, they're kind of in your club, they're in your circle already. And um, all you're doing is just kind of cross selling. It's way, way easier to cross sell or upsell someone versus client acquisition. New client acquisition is always difficult. So this is the way to kind of get their credit card on file get an account set up so you have them, then from there it should be pretty easy for you to upsell one of your other packages. And I've got some other um, like seasonal strategies we're gonna use to kind of every time a new season comes around, we're gonna be dropping new marketing to them 
to try to get them into campaigns and some other higher um, plans. So anyway, those are just some ideas of the strategies you could use. Um, just to show you real quick, everything else is pretty similar other than um, social media. So as you know, um, when you get into social media, and let me pull this down so it's in frame. When you start generating social media things, and let's jump to the prompt. Um, what we usually have is down below, we will have a um, ability to add to drafts folder. That's the main thing we changed here is we are not including any of that. So there's no integration with our publisher at all. It's just going to encourage them. To, they can even do their optional refinements and things like that. So um, that is the main difference here. So let me close this and I'm going to show you how you create this now. So these are my pricing plans currently. If I'm going to want to try a strategy like this, I might call this just AI Writer. And if you want to get really crazy, you can um, you can have AI Writer and then an AI Writer premium plan. And I'll talk about that when we get down to it. But the plan description is, you know, it's like, hey, create um, social media posts. Let's just call it social media and campaign. Um, campaigns um, in a fraction of the time exclamation point let's call this one our $19 plan monthly billing um, definitely use your lowest possible plan your business plan and just ignore these it doesn't really matter in this case um, and I'm gonna make this private because I don't want any of my existing more expensive plan users to see this when they go to the change plan area. So be sure to make this private. As you scroll down, what I'm gonna do is deselect everything. And I'm gonna select AI Writer. So for this plan, since it's only $19, I'm not gonna include the premium modules. If I were to do the strategy where I have two options, I would probably run an ad that says, hey, you can do blogs and everything, but when they get to your purchase page, have those two options. So I've got AI Writer and I've got AI Writer Premium. You know, maybe charge $29 for the one that includes the premium modules. That way you can be upselling them um, even to the premium before you upsell them, you know, something higher like a full service um, agency plan. And down below, make sure to uncheck all of these because you don't want to have any onboarding it's not necessary um, this will just allow them to sign up it'll drop them right into their new AI writer so they can start using it also be sure not to give them admin user access because this is not a multi-user product um, if they go into admin user or if they go into the um, what admin user does is it lets people go into workspace preferences and create users the problem with work, workspace preferences, there's gonna be a bunch of stuff in there that does not apply to the AI writer. So um, anyway, just be sure you don't use admin user if you're trying to create an AI writer only product. Um, charge tax if you need to, and then when you're done, just activate the pricing plan and that's it. Now you've got this URL that you've generated that you can send to people. Um, and this might even be like, think of like a cold email um, program that you have. AI is so hot right now, you guys. So like imagine you just sent a cold email to realtors saying, hey, are you sick and tired of writing all your copy yourself or spending hundreds of dollars an hour on a copywriter? We've got a tool that will let you do it in a fraction of the time. Click here to learn more. Boom, they click there. You've got a video on the page demoing the AI Writer product and you've got two options. AI Writer is 19 bucks, AI Premium is 29. I think that is gonna convert pretty darn well. Um, so all you would need is that um, pricing plan URL, just put that link in the email. Now you don't even need to build a landing page for this, guys. It's just kind of like a drop dead simple strategy. So get your creative juices flowing on that front. Before I let you go though, um, I wanna talk just a little bit about what's happening in the AI world. There is just an absolute battle going on right now and Bard is getting really good. Um, I'm not ready yet to encourage you to use Bard instead of ChatGPT, but check out this. Like I created some um, social media posts using the AI writer, and then I just simply told it, hey, can you include images? Look at this, all I said, let's see. So here's the original post, it created 10 posts for me in the AI writer. Then I simply said, please add a suitable royalty-free image to each post. 
and check it out, you guys. These are actually pretty good images. So we're getting close to the point where it's going to create images and social posts. When we get to that point, <clears throat> I'm going to add a feature to the AI writer where you're going to be able to literally grab this and drag it over to the um, prompt screen of the AI writer and just let go. And it's actually going to um, add it to that particular post. So the reason that's cool is <clears throat> currently you can only add things to drafts, but I'm going to allow you to add them to the queue once we get to that point. And the reason you're probably looking at it saying, well, it seems like we are at that point, Craig, this actually looks pretty good. Um, the reason we're not there yet is a couple reasons. Um, one is these are very low res images and I don't want you posting these on social media. It just doesn't look great. Um, and there's no way yet to kind of upscale those. And um, I did try, you know, some different tricks. I, I even asked it to make sure they're high res. And they gave me some high, higher res images, but the thumbnails are still low res. So you've got to like click through to get to the high res images. Um, and that's not an ideal workflow, but they are just a couple short weeks away to, from integrating um, a brand new partner they have. They've partnered, um, Google has partnered with Adobe so they are in integrated with Adobe Firefly, which is a killer AI image generator. And what they're doing is they're making it so we're going to be able to say, hey, give me 10 social media posts and, you know, um, generate images for those posts and make sure they're high res and royalty free. And Firefly is a royalty free product. So it's going to generate royalty free images for you for each one of the social posts. Once we have that in Bard, I'm probably gonna recommend to everybody to switch over um, to Bard. So that's where we're at. Things are just getting really exciting. And just as a reminder, you can't get all this with the APIs. This is just another reason that you need to call out to people to um, use our AI writer instead of all the other AI, AI writers that are out there. Um, another reason is just ChatGPT has over a hundred plugins and these plugins are extremely useful. Um, so you, you can't really use plugins if you're using the API with a different product. So ChatGPT, like the, the front lines of this battle are happening on their retail product, not in their API product, um, which all the other AI writers use. So. I kind of like the interface um, on all of the AI products, and I like the fact that ours kind of has the side-by-side -side still. So as all of these new things almost daily are added, we are the beneficiaries of that. Um, anyway, if you guys have any questions, uh, reach out, and I would love to hear your feedback and some other creative ideas you guys are using to leverage the AI writer to generate more agency business for you. Have a great day.